Hey guys, Adam Frimmer here at DIYphotography.net. We're joined by Kinson at the Zcam stand at IBC 2019. He's going to show off a couple of the new cameras. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2019 is sponsored by SERP, Better Films, Zion, a gimbal for everyone, Manfrotto, Imagine More, and Spiffy Gear, lighting for storytellers. Kinson, what's up? Hi. Thank you to to come to see our booth. So of course. this time we bring um, our the full range of the Zcam E2 products. As you know, we launched the Zcam E2 last year and uh, we have got very good market feedback. So uh, earlier this year, we have announced to come with the new flagship series of the Zcam E2. So all the three models of the flagship series, the Super 35 6K, the full frame 6K, this one, and also the full frame 8K. So the full range products are here now. Yeah. And we are ready to ship in October. October, you're already starting to ship in October? Next month, yes, coming. Okay, and what can you tell us about the cameras? Where do they stand in the market? Well, um, same like our original E2, um, we still keep the camera in a very small form factor. Um, power consumption is very low. So for those who have been using the Zcam E2, you should know that with a standard Sony MPF 970 battery, rolling in 4K 30 frame, you can go for almost like five hours or even more. Wow. And with these cameras, with the flagship models, the Super 35 6K, the full frame 6K, and the full frame 8K, of course, I mean, the, the sensor is larger, the power consumption will be higher, but the battery life is still going to be amazing. So we keep small form factor, you can record, you know, in a long session, no overheating. I mean, basically, the limit is actually your memory. Yeah. Um, and also, um, I'm sure you have noticed that there have been um, quite a few um, new 6K cameras yeah, yeah, recently there's been a few. announced and launched in the market. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest advantage of um, the Zcam E2 S6 and also the F6 is that our 6K models they will be able to record 6K up to 60 frames. Does and that mean you could do 4K at 120 as well? And for the S6, it will be able to do a cropped 4K up to 100 frames. For this one, for the um, F6, E2 F6, the full frame model, it will it, it will be able to support a 4K up to 120. Using the whole sensor? A cropped. Also crop. Also crop. How much yeah. is the crop? Uh, the crop is a 2.4 to 1. Oh, okay. Cool. So, can you tell us a little bit about um, the codec that you're planning the on codec. using? Okay, good question. So, um, we can record um, 6K in ProRes up to 30 frame. So, above um, 6K 30 frame, it will be able to record in uh, H.265 and also in Zero. Okay, and what what is Zero for Zero those of us? Zero is our proprietary um, format, so it's uh, after uh, uh, it's partial debated. Okay, yeah. and are you working on any adaptation? We know that B Raw has released their codec uh, to be used in Premiere as well. Does Zcam have any plans for that? Well, we are working with um, some um, software solutions to um, to try to get uh, native support of Zero in. There. Okay, so for for now, how would somebody take for advantage? For now, uh, they will have to use the, um, our uh, video switch, you know, to convert the zero into um, uh, uncompressed YUV or BNX HR, for example. Okay. So there's a one, one more step in between, but uh, I hope you know we we will be able to get uh, native support from some of the uh, MLE. Is ProRes raw in the future? ProRes raw, we are actively looking into that. Okay. We would, we would love to be able to support that, but it will take a while. Got you. And what, what can you tell us about the color science? Because Zcam is a relatively new company, right? Yes. So how do you guys feel about the color science going into such a high-end market? I think um, the best is to actually ask our customer and, and, our, and, and the market. Uh, as a cinema camera, I think most important is actually the, the color science. People care about um, the skin tone and um, our color science, I think, is uh, widely recognized. I think uh, we've got a lot of uh, positive feedback um, from the CKM2 customers. Um, the best way to do this is to actually get other cameras from the competition and put it side by side with a CKM. With any of our CKM, whether this is a E2 or our flagship series, 
you put it side by side, you may check uh, both the uh, REST 709 direct output or if you um, use our z -Log and then apply a nut to, to get to see the, the color. I think we are ready to, to compete with any of the com competition. That's really cool. And I have to ask you one more thing. I noticed that there's something on the side here. What is this? Yes, that is uh, for the flagship models. We have uh, both the EF, we support both the EF and PL mount. And uh, we have confirmed that uh, it will be user interchangeable between EF and, uh, and PL. And, and not only that, on the lens mount, you know, we have uh, a snog to put in an ND electronic ND module. So, and that is that will come as an optional accessory. So for those who bought, uh, who will buy the END accessory, you just, you just need to insert and you will be able to control the, the END. So uh, the typical application is that you set a certain aperture and you fix the shutter angle and you will be able to control your exposure through the END. So it's minimum, I think 1.7, 1.8 stops all, all the way up to close to approximately eight stops. Oh wow, that's a that's a hefty so I think, number. I think, I think that would. Uh, I hope people will find it uh, useful and um, and convenient. And I think that is a very unique uh, selling point of um, of the camera because our camera, I think, is um, designed is designed to 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 shoot you know the run and gun shooting style very well because it's small, it's light, uh, battery is durable, it's good image quality, good color science. And now we have both the 4K, 6K, and even the 8K um, options. And you have uh, you can choose between Super 35 sensor or full frame sensor, depending on your usage and your budget. Cool. So last thing in true ZCam fashion, what are we looking at in terms of competitive pricing? Um, well, we have the uh, the most affordable um, E2, the E2C, just launched um, two months ago. So E2C is uh, a 799 retail price per position and it, uh, it will support uh, ProRes and Zero um, tempit at up to 4K 30 frame. Um, otherwise, I think our standard E2 is only uh, 1999, but going into the flagship, then we have anything from 3000 all the way up to uh, full frame 8K, which is uh, 5995, close to 6000. So we... Have which for the market is... Pretty competitive. I think, that, and I hope uh, is uh, we want to make it affordable, you know, and um, but still, you know, retaining a very high degree of uh, performance in all aspects, including color science, dynamic range, and also um, the expand expandability of the camera, because we make it as a crib form factor, um, so it's very easy to balance on on the gimbal. Yeah. A lot of gimbal users they like the Z cam just because this uh, camera allows them to uh, quickly balance and set it up on the gimbal, and uh, they can they can be a lot more creative. You know, with a high quality cinema camera on a small gimbal. I think that is the the best. Well, it looks like a great product. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Adam. That was Z cam at the IBC 2019 booth. We're going to be doing a lot more interviews, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget, $5,000 giveaway. You can check out more about that in the description below.